Hey there, this is Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and I'm going to give you a quick hardware run through on the Huawei Ascend D Quad XL. It's the latest high-end phone by Huawei and they haven't really done too many of them. So uh, it's interesting to see how well this thing is built. Uh, up front here we have a four and a half inch uh, LCD IPS Plus display at uh, 1280 by 720 which is really nice. That's um, 330 pixels per inch, which is really pretty good considering uh, the cost of the device. Uh, up top here, we have a nice red speaker grill, a uh, LED notification light blinking there, and the front-facing camera. Down at the bottom, we have three capacitive keys back home, and unfortunately, menu. Really wish that was a multitasking key, but what can you do? Uh, on the right side here we've got a volume rocker and clean all the way down, no camera key or anything of the sort. Up top here we've got the power key and a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Over on the left side we have just the charging and data cable connector and all the way clean there. And clean again on the bottom, the microphone it's actually, let me see if I can get it to show, right there down in the bottom center, cut into the bezel, which is nice. It's a little more forward facing on you. Around the back, we have the eight megapixel camera with dual LED flash, a secondary microphone, some Dolby branding for some reason, and a speaker down at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and pry this off, show the interesting bits on the inside. Now, similar to some uh, older HTC devices, the whole back and sides all come off, uh, including the power button. It all comes off all at once. So what you're left with here is really the guts of the phone and just the screen. I'll cover up the uh, fun numbers here. Uh, you can see the SIM card slot. This is an unlocked device. Uh, works just well. I've got a AT&T prepaid carrier SIM in there and we have the micro SD slot underneath the USB connector. Here's the camera pod. This is a 2600 milliamp hour battery, which is really quite ample. You know, most phones we're seeing nowadays, 2000, 2100, things like that. Uh, the trade-off here is that the battery is non-removable. It looks like you could pry it out of there, but it's, it's pretty stuck. Um, worth the trade-off, in, uh, in my opinion, for 2600 milliamp hours. And there's the speaker down at the bottom again. I have a GSM Galaxy Nexus here and do a couple quick side-by-side -side comparisons uh, looking at screen size. The Galaxy Nexus is a bit larger. Um, you've got the buttons down at the bottom though so it kind of offsets the size of the screen. Um, thickness wise the Ascend is definitely uh, definitely not skinny. Uh, it's at 11 and a half millimeters all the way. Now it should be noted though that the Galaxy Nexus has got a bit of the hump down at the bottom anyways. It probably makes it thicker overall, but um, the Ascend is the same thickness all the way. As far as width though, the Galaxy Nexus is quite a bit wider. Let's see if that'll show up. I mean, quite a bit wider indeed. And a little bit taller also. So overall, the uh, Huawei Ascend Quad feels a lot better in the hand, honestly, because it's I've got pretty big hands, but it um, you can grip it around, and the extra thickness in the back makes it a little easier to hold on to. The back isn't the softest or grippiest ever, but it's not completely smooth like we see on uh, the back of the Galaxy S3 or something of that nature. It's actually grippy a little bit. Anyways, we'll be coming back with a software review and a bit of a dive into that in a separate video. But for now, thanks for taking a look at the hardware. Thanks, guys. Jerry here from Android Central. If your wife won't let you run around naked, grab a kick-ass t-shirt from shopandroid.com.